hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful fringe granny top uh it's made of the granny stitch and it could be a very perfect matchup with uh our granny skirt that has the fringes so um if you already worked this skirt please let me know if you give this a try and pair it up with our fringe skirt and just give me feedback on instagram and let me know how these two pieces work together so um if you haven't yet tried out the skirt uh i'll be leaving the link on the screen it already has a written pattern and this already has a written pattern as well so you can purchase both patterns on my online shops and uh for this project you will need yarn for the yarn i am using winter king which is a dk weight yarn and i i think just to be on a safe side you just need three balls of this if you're using the same exact yarn this yarn is 150 yards and i i needed about one and a half balls but just to be on a safe side just have three balls of 150 or 500 yards of yarn and you'll be able to make this top comfortably well plus excess um in case you need to make another extra project with the remaining yarn so let's jump into the video so the hook that i'll be using today is a four millimeter crochet hook uh, you also need a dunning needle to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors so let's get started um i'll be explaining this top for size extra small small medium large extra large and xxl which is 2XL. So let's jump into the video and learn how to make this beautiful and easy fringe top. So for this project, we're going to work from the center of our top and then build outwards to create coverage for our bust. So let's grab our yarn. So for the yarn, you're going to grab your yarn and your hook and you're going to make a slip knot. So those who don't know how to make a slip knot, you're going to just cross over like this so that your tail is on this side. So we create that ribbon like shape and we are going to yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through and then pull on this tail. Now we're going to make a chain of five. So one, two, three, four and five so once you have your five chains you're going to go into the very first chain that you made with a double crochet so this one and you're going to make one double crochet into it and then make two more double crochets so that makes it a total of three double crochets like that you have something that looks like this and then you're going to make a chain of two and three more double crochets into the same exact chain. One, two, and three. So this is what you have. Now you're going to chain one and place one more double crochet into the same exact chain. So let's see what we have right now. We have the chain of four here, and then we have the three double crochets, the chain two, the three double crochets here, and then one more double crochet here and now we have a chain one space at this point but this side we have a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one meaning that we've balanced both sides on this side and on this side let's go on to row two this marks the end of row one row two is a chain of four and the chain the chain of four always counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work when you turn your work, you're going to have a chain one space here. So you're going to go into it with three double crochets. And then you're going to chain one. This is a chain two space. And each chain two space gets a shell. A shell for this pattern is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets so let's go ahead and do that after your chain of one here 
you're going to prepare for a double crochet and place a total of three double crochets into the chain to space one two and three chain two and three more double crochets into the chain to space one two and three so we've placed a shell into the chain to space after this you're going to chain one and place into the chain four space here which counts as a double crochet chain one you're going to go into that space here after the three double crochets here you're going to go into that space and place a total of three double crochets one two and three after your three double crochets you're going to chain one and place one more double crochet into the same space so we have balanced what's on this side onto what's on this side so let's go on to row three the row starts with a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work into the very first chain one space which is this one you're placing three double crochets and then you're going to chain one this is a chain one space each chain one space gets three double crochets unless stated otherwise because there are some parts of this pattern that you get to and these um, instructions don't apply to it so after your three double crochets here you're going to chain one and into the chain two space which is the tip of the triangle you can see the triangular shape into the tip of the triangle you're going to place a shell so into the chain two space so a shell is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets so after this you're going to chain one each chain one space gets three double crochets so go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one into the last chain four space we place three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same space just to balance what we had at the beginning of the row remember we start with a chain of four so if we place one chain and one double crochet that counts as one double crochet chain one and the chain of four also counts as a double crochet chain one so that's why we end our row like this i hope everything makes sense at this point if you're getting value from this video and if you're liking how your project is coming together make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so let's go on to row four row four is going to start just as usual as the other rows so you're going to make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work into the first chain one space you're going to place three double crochets like that after this you're going to chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one go into the next chain one space which is this one with three double crochets chain one this is a chain two space and it's the top of the triangle so you place a shell there so three double crochets chain two and then three more double crochets into the same space and after this we're just going to mirror exactly what we have on this side so chain one go into the next chain one space which is this one and place three double crochets chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets and after this you're going to chain one 
and into the chain four space which is this one after the three double crochets here you're going to go in there with three double crochets and since this is the end of the row i told you after your three double crochets you will chain one and then go into the same space with one more double crochet to balance what we have at the beginning of the row so look what we have if you're a bit lost and maybe your work is not balancing out you can count the number of um, groups of double crochets the groups of three double crochets that you have on each side they should be the same so for example we have one two three and four and then on this side this is the exact middle of the triangle so on this side we also have one two three and four so if you have the same number that means the triangle is building up um in a balanced way so let's go on to row five we are basically doing the same exact thing so i'll speed through this one chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one and then into the first chain one space you're going to place three double crochets this is the last row of demonstration so chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space now we've reached the chain two space you can see the next space is a chain two space so you're going to chain one and go into that chain two space with a shell which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same space now once you're done with this you're going to just go all the way down doing the same exact thing uh, just mirror what you have on this side so chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one and into the chain um the chain four space after the three double crochets you're going to place three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same space to balance what we started with at the beginning of the row so this is what your work should look like at this point now once you get to this level um Uh, I have my measuring tape with me. At this point, I have um, about four inches in the middle of the triangle. And then the best measure is about seven inches when I'm not stretching it. So this is four by seven inches. So once you get to that measurement, it's time to do something different. Just assume you used a different hook and yarn and you're trying to achieve the same exact look. Maybe your stitches are either tighter or looser. Maybe your piece is bigger or smaller. Just work until you have seven inches at the base of the, of the triangle and then four inches height of the triangle. And we're going to start doing something totally different so this is row six if you're following the same exact measurements as mine and if you're getting the same measurements as me so row six you're going to place uh you're going to start off with a chain of four just like we've been doing for the previous rows and this counts as a double crochet chain one after this you're going to go into the very first chain one space and you're going to place a total of three double crochets after this you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space 
and repeat that all the way up until you get to a point where your next space is a chain two. So until this level, once you get to this level, you're going to chain one and go into the chain two space with only one double crochet. Like that. And this is what you'll have. Now, this marks the end of row six. Yes, row six. Now, row seven, we're going to first work on this side and then we shall create coverage for the opposite side as well later on. But for now, we're going to first work on this side where we are at the moment. So, uh, let's go on to row seven. You're going to make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one. Turn your work. Go into the very first chain one space with a total of three double crochets. Like that. And then chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space. So we go back to the pattern itself just keep chaining one and three double crochets into the next chain one space all the way down until you get to the end of the row where you will place um, so we've come to the end of the row here and you're going to chain one and into the chain four space you're going to place three double crochets, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same space. So this brings us back to the pattern, just like we've been doing at the end of each and every row. So the fact that we are at the base of the triangle and we don't want to distort this shape, this has to remain a straight line. Keep that in mind. So whatever you do at these ends, remains the same the way you start here and the way you end your rows that end at the base of the triangle everything remains the same so let's go on to row eight and see what we have you're going to the fact that we are at the base of the triangle we're going to start off with a chain of four just like we've been doing for the plain triangle before we started creating the extensions so chain four go into the first chain one space and place three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space and repeat that all the way up. Chain one, three double crochets. So keep repeating this until you get to the second last here, somewhere here, and I'll show you how to wind up your row. This is row eight, guys. If you're following the same exact instructions as mine, you should be on the same row. So for row eight, when we are coming to the end of the row, as you can see here, we're going to chain one after our three double crochets here in the last chain one space. You're going to chain one and skip over the next three double crochets and into the chain four space you're only going to place a total of three double crochets one two and three and that's it for row eight this marks the end of row eight now let's go on to row nine row nine you're going to make a chain of four turn your work and you're going to skip over the next two stitches. So this one and this one, and go into the chain one space and place a total of three double crochets. So you can see something very similar to row one. The only difference is for row one, we were working from the base of the triangle coming all the way up to the middle of the triangle. But remember I told you the chain four counts as a double crochet chain one. And when we have a double crochet here and a chain one, that resembles what we have here, which is a chain four. So you're going to make your chain of four, double crochet three times 
into the next chain one space and continue to work your row all the way down. Chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one, So we have worked so many granny stitch projects and I'll be leaving a link for you guys in the description box below so that you can give a try to all the granny stitch projects that we've tried out ever since the beginning of this YouTube channel. So if you like the granny stitch, don't hesitate to tap on that link because there are so many projects waiting for you. Dresses, bags, skirts, shirts, rompers, literally everything i have worked in this stitch so after this um when you come to the end you're going to chain one and into the chain four space you're going to place three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same space so this brings us to the end of row nine this is row 9. Now let's go on to row 10. Row 10 starts the same exact way. The fact that we are at the base of the triangle, you're going to make a chain of 4. Turn your work. Go into the first chain 1 space with a total of 3 double crochets. And after this, you're going to chain 1, 3 double crochets into the next chain 1 space. This is now a walkover for you guys. So just continue all the way up until you get to this chain one space, this one here. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to wind up your row when you get to the end of the row 10. So All right, so we're coming to the end of row 10. And as I told you, row nine resembles row one just because of this space of the chain four and the chain one, one double crochet, which translates to a chain four. So now you'd look at the next row, which is row two, and see exactly how, how row two ended at this point. So we have um, three double crochets here and a chain of four. So we're going to imitate the same exact thing. So chain one and then place three double crochets, chain one and one more double crochet into the same exact space. And you can see we have the same thing going on here at row two and at row 10. If you can relate the the whole theory that I've been explaining from the beginning of the tutorial, you can relate that row two is literally row 10. The only difference is they're facing opposite directions. Row two was worked from top to bottom and row 10 is worked from bottom to top, but they look the same. So let's go on to row 11. Let's look at the next row, which is row three. We see that row three ends with three double crochets into the chain for space and that's exactly what we want to emulate when it comes to row 11. so um i'm saying row three because uh i'm excluding these rows here when i say row one row two it means row two of the extension so I hope I'm not confusing you when it comes to the rows. So um, row 11 is going to be row three of the extension, which is this one. So we have row one, row two, and row three of the extension. So let's do our chain of three, turn our work, 
and then place two more double crochets into the chain one space all right so this is what we have and you can see from the three double crochets you jump right into the pattern so chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one and go all the way down and complete your row as usual this will be row 11 So at the end of row 11, you're going to have something that looks like this. Exactly. So you can see how the coverage is being created, the bust coverage. And at this point, you don't have to worry about the sides because we are creating a coverage this side as well as the shaping of the neckline. So let's go on to row 12. The fact that we are coming from the base of the triangle all the way up, you are going to make a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work and place three double crochets into the very first chain one space then go on to repeat the pattern until you place um, three double crochets into the second last chain one space which is this one or the chain one space closest to the edge and I'll show you how to wind up your row 12 All right, so I'm placing my three double crochets into this last chain one space. And now uh, this row, if you don't want to relate rows that don't start from the same end, this is your chance. Uh, this row is literally row one of the extension and you can see that chain one space. So we are at that point where we have to create that chain one space or the chain four space on the edge but facing the same exact direction as row one of the extension or row six of um, our top right from here so one two three four five six row six is the one that um ended like this so from here you're going to chain one and skip over two stitches and go into the very last stitch on top of it with one double crochet and that will create that hole here we can see it at row one of the extension row three of the extension and row 12 is it one three one you can see it at row one at row four and at row seven so you just look below and try to follow the sequence that means on row um 13 you're going to make a chain of three turn your work but when you look down here after that space the next row has uh, a chain of four and then three double crochets you can see that so instead of chain of three you're going to make a chain of four like that and then go into the chain one space with three double crochets so that will create a resemblance between this row and the row here there are only three rows that you have to repeat the one that creates a hole here the one that starts with a chain of four and three more double crochets into the, the chain one space. And then the one that ends with three double crochets. So those are the only three rows that you have to keep repeating. 
so um i hope i'm explaining it right guys uh i don't want to confuse you guys i'm trying my best i'll have a written pattern as well so for those who are confused you can purchase the pattern i'll i'll be explaining everything there as well so the moment you figure out how to work on the neckline shaping whether when coming from the base of the triangle upwards or coming from the neckline downwards uh, the moment you figure out what to do this will be a walkover for you so you're just going to keep repeating those rows there are only three rows that you have to follow to figure out exactly what to do you're going to keep working until you get enough coverage for your bust area but remember when it comes to the base of the triangle nothing changes as you can see we are maintaining this and keeping it flat so let me just go ahead and keep working my rows i'll meet you back when i have enough coverage for my um, first side coverage all right guys so i went ahead to do a total of 13 rows for a size small if you're a size medium you're going to consider 15 rows large 17 and extra large 19 rows so the rows that i'm talking about are these ones from this very first one that uh, comes from the triangular shape there's this row that we did in the beginning that one that stopped in the middle so we are counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so i have 13 rows for size small if you're extra small you may consider 13 or 11 rows that's for xxs but uh, i guess this will do for an extra small to small this will be enough so when you're done with this, you're going to just uh, chain one and cut your yarn. Or you can go ahead and do your strap immediately. So I'm not going to do that right now because I think I need to add an edging later on. So I'm going to just chain one and cut my yarn, pull through. And now we're going to attach onto the other side of the triangle. So... What I'm going to do is turn my work to this side, like this, and I'm going to start from the base here, just like we did this row from here all the way up. So we're going to attach our yarn into the chain four space, like this, and then you're going to make a chain of four. And then place a total of three double crochets into that same space so you can notice that at the base everything remains the same the changes come in when we are working this edge so from here you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space so we are repeating that until we get to the top of the triangle. Chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one. Chain one. And now we are at the top of the triangle as you can see here. So what we are going to do is just replicate the same exact process as we did for the first side. So if you don't know exactly what to do, you're going to just rewind the video. So let me just walk you th through the first steps. So after your chain of one here, you're going to go into the top of the triangle and you're going to place one double crochet. And you can see that hole being created on this side as well. So you see that hole? this one and this one so we are just matching exactly what's on this side onto this side so let's go on to row two row two should resemble this row here after the hole there's that row there so you're going to chain four turn your work this is because for row two on this side we started with a chain of four so just look what you did on this side and do the same thing 
so you're going to place three double crochets into the very first chain one space like that chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and everything else remains the same everything else remains the same All right, so we are coming to the end of the row and we are placing a chain one and into the very last chain for space, we are going to place three double crochets, chain one and one more double crochet into the same space, just to make sure that the, the base is flat. So let's go on to row three. You're going to chain four, turn your work and you're going to make three double crochets into the very first chain one space like that and then you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and repeat that all the way up All right, so when you have one space left, which is the chain four space here on your row, you're going to just look on this side and see exactly what you did. You can see row three uh, starts with only three double crochets. So that means you're going to chain one and into the chain four space, you're going to only place three double crochets just to balance what we did on the opposite side. All right, so you can see what this is creating. three double crochets here and we have three double crochets here on the edge so let's see the next row which is this one we start off with a chain of four we start with a chain of four and then go all the way down then we skip over the three double crochets as you can see here so for the next row you're going to just chain four turn your work skip the double crochets here and go into the chain one space so the moment you finish the first side, that means you've figured out how to work this pattern. You don't even have to think about it. You just have to look this side and see exactly what you did on this side and just replicate the same exact thing on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and work our second side and finish it up. And I'll meet you guys back when I have my second side ready up to 13 rows or the number of rows that you needed for your size. Alright guys, so I am done with the second side as you can see here and I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. Now uh, you can do the strap there and then if you don't want an edging for your top. At this point we're just going to fold over like this and we shall have straps at this point and at this point, at this point and at this point. But uh, I think I'm going to do some edging 
uh, when it comes to the side edge of the of the top because I just don't like the way it looks like at the moment so you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to attach in one of the corners we're going to do a total of two rows so make sure you identify the right side of your work start from the wrong side actually just place your work on the wrong side both sides are going to look the same so you're going to just go into one of the corners one of the side corners chain one and now you're going to start placing one single crochet into each and every double crochet and into each and every chain one space so make sure you do that all right so i'm going to go all the way up until the top of the first side of the top and i'm placing one single crochet into each and every double crochet and into each and every chain one space so just go all the way up So you can see how the edging is making everything neat. So when you get to the top here, into this space, you're going to place a total of three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then you're going to place one more single crochet into the same exact space. So one more single crochet. So that means this space has received a total of four single crochets. Now into each and every row here, we are going to place two single crochets into each row. One and two. And then you go to the next row. One, two and repeat that all the way down. So we are going all the way down to the center of the top and now we are done with the edging on this side as well as the edging on this side. So let's cross over to the opposite side. Now you're going to place only one single crochet into the top of the first triangle that we created before creating the side extensions. So only one single crochet there and then you're going to place two single crochets into each and every row all the way up just like we've done for this uh, edge, the inner edge.
so we've come we've come to the very last space here and we're going to place a total of four single crochets just like we did for this space here so one two three and four single crochets and look what we have guys i think this is looking much more beautiful than what we had before so um we are now going to go all the way down placing one single crochet into each double crochet and one single crochet into each chain one space okay guys we have made it all the way to the end and um I've placed my last single crochet into the chain one space and this is what we have we're going to go one more row of single crochets just to clean up the edges just these wobbly edges so I'm going to just chain one and go back all the way from here all the way to down here to down to up here and all the way to down here so just place a single crochet in each and every single crochet and at this point if you want to create your straps as you go uh, I'll I'll show you how to do that when we get to this point All right, when you get to the top here and you feel like creating your straps, you can go ahead and make the chain of the straps that you want. Uh, maybe a chain of 150 and go back on it with a single crochet. So I think we shall do that. Just make a chain, one, two, three, four. So I ended up doing a total of 120 chains just because I'm going to have um, a strap at the base as well i'm not going to use these same straps to do the x at the back like we usually do for our top so i've done a total of 120 chains and you're going to go back on it with slip stitches so insert your hook pull through all just to make it more strong and firm so just go back on it with one slip stitch into each and every chain so you can see the body that we are creating for our strap right now so go all the way back to the body of the top i'll meet you guys back when i'm here so we are just creating a firm body for our strap right now All right, so when you make it all the way back to the body of the top, this is what your strap will look like. Now you're going to place one single crochet in each of the next single crochets all the way down. So we are back to the edge of the, of the top. So just go all the way down and you can see what that has created. Now the side where you're working this uh, row the single crochet row for the second row of single crochets this will be the right side of your work and you can see it's neater than this i don't want the wrong side of the final row to be the right side of my work so this will be the right side of my work you're going to go all the way down all the way up here do the same thing make your strap uh if you had a total of 120 chains just like me you're going to make your 120 chains go back on it with single crochets and come back placing one single crochet into each and every single crochet on this side and i'll meet you back at this point okay guys here we are with uh, both sides finished all the edgings are finished and i've ended on this side so after your very last single crochet on this side um after your last single crochet here you're now going to turn your work onto 
the base of the triangles. These are our two triangles that create the bra coverage, the bust coverage. So you're going to go into, you're going to chain one, go into this very first row with one single crochet, go into the next row of single crochet with one single crochet, and now you're going to go all the way across, placing two single crochets in each and every row. So each um, double crochet space gets two single crochets and go all the way across. Like that. All right, so when you make it all the way across, you're going to place one single crochet into the first single crochet row and one single crochet into the very last single crochet row. And this is it. You're going to chain one and you're going to cut your yarn. So now we're going to start creating our fringes for the top and you're going to be attaching them at the base of the top. So just make your top face the right side. And that's the side where we have worked our single crochet row. So you're going to get strands of about uh, your elbow to wrist length. So look what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping around like this and then like that all the way at the back of my elbow while my hand is folded. You can see that? And we are creating the fringes. So just do as many um, strands as you need for your fringes. This is just a sample. So after that, you're going to just cut here and you're going to have something that's like this. You're now going to get a total of five strands, five strands at a go. If you feel like this fringe is quite long for you, you can feel free to divide it into half. Then your fringe is going to be this long. I think I'm going to do that. I feel like this fringe is too long. So I'll have the shorter fringe. So get five strands of the strings. And then grab your hook and you're going to start attaching right from the middle. I'll start from the exact middle. Just get the middle single crochet and then pull through. And then pull through like this. So let me do that again. You have five strands, fold them to create this loop like this. Make sure they're even. Then skip one, two, three four or three stitches. I don't know how close you want your fringes to be, but I've skipped three stitches there. Go in from the back of the stitch all the way up and then grab this loop that you created, pull through. You'll create a loop here like this and then get your hook and pull through these strands that you left behind like that. And then this will create a knot at this point so go all the way across guys it has started raining so yeah just go all the way across doing this Okay guys, so after your fringe, uh, you're going to attach one strap on this side. You're going to just attach your yarn and make a plain chain. Or you can also choose to go back on it using a single crochet stitch or a slip stitch, just like we did for the upper straps. And then you're going to do that on the opposite side as well. As you can see here, I've just done a plain chain to just get done with the tutorial. But... Um, if you have time, just go back on it using a slip stitch. 
and the next thing that you're going to do is get your dunning needle and weave in all your tails and your top is ready to wear at this point uh, this is the back side of my work and these chops are going to wrap around your rib cage like this i'll be attaching a photo for you to see what it looks like at the back like that and then these ones are going to tie right behind your neck and i hope this tutorial was super helpful and interesting to make make sure you tag me in your finished pieces and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Probably we shall be making a matching pair of shorts for this uh, beautiful granny top. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.